Hey guys, what's going on? My name is Parsa or IUPad, and today I'm bringing you guys a brand new Hypixel Skyblock video. So in today's video, we're going to be going over some tips for dungeons. I decided to make a collab with a friend of mine named Alcioy. He's been playing Skyblock for quite a bit of time and is fairly experienced. Also, all the footage in this video and all the scripting comes from him, so go check out his channel in the link down in the description down below. We're starting a little bit of a series about errors that early game dungeon players make, and this is probably going to be something weekly that we're gonna make so make sure to stay tuned for that but before we start i just want to let you guys know that if you guys enjoy my content or are new around here make sure to leave a like and subscribe it really helps me out and also make sure to go join my discord server down in the description we are going to be doing a 100 million coin giveaway at 4k subs so make sure to stay tuned for that anyway without further ado let's get right into the video tip number one underestimating the spirit scepter the spirit scepter is a very capable weapon from floor 4 although many players opt out of it since it's a floor 4 weapon the spirit scepter is one of the best weapons to clear with up to floor 7 since it doesn't make you lose momentum like the hyperion and is especially good if you're on higher ping tip number two wasting essence to be able to unlock the full potential of armor such as Necron and Storm, a large amount of Wither Essence is required. This is why you shouldn't sell or waste your Wither Essence unless you are 100% sure that you won't be needing it in the future. Tip number three, using Super Boom when you can afford Infinity Boom. Super Boom TNT is great. It's cheap and it's easily affordable. However, if you can afford it, try getting a piece of Infinity Boom. Infinity Boom recently got buffed, making it way better than the Super Boom TNT. It now explodes instantly when placed and is a great investment if you're planning to play dungeons for a while. Tip number four, using a Midas Staff. When it first came out, the Midas Staff was easily one of the best weapons in the entire game. This is no longer the case nowadays. The Midas Staff easily tops the list for the worst weapon in dungeons since it blocks arrows, doesn't work on carpets, and is generally hard to aim. Tip number five, not learning all secrets. I see many lower level catacombs players make this simple mistake, not spending enough time memorizing all secrets. Knowing all secrets makes it much easier as you won't have to spend much time searching for the secrets and it makes the run so much faster. Tip number six, playing master mode. Master mode has been out for about a year now. I see many players of lower kata making this mistake, playing too much master mode. Although master mode gives more XP than floor seven, it also hinders your progress by making you improve less. There are less rooms and the amount of runs required for each level is less, which makes you play dungeons less and it'll be much, much harder to find good parties at higher levels. Tip number seven, playing tank and floor seven. Tank has received multiple buffs since the launch of dungeons and is now a good class, but tank isn't needed in floor seven if you are above Cata 30. It should be relatively easy to survive the boss fight if you are playing carefully. Tip number eight, playing with Party Finder. Party Finder just isn't good. Instead of using Party Finder to get a party, use Discord servers such as Dungeon Gang, link below in the description, since it makes it much, much easier to communicate between each other. Communication is a big key in dungeons. Tip number nine and the final tip, dupe Archer. Archer is one of the best classes in the entire game. The only flaw with it is that there can only be one Archer or the DPS is significantly lowered. There's no point of having two Archers instead of one since the class damage buff would suck, so never ever run dupe Archer. All right, guys, so that's gonna be it for this video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. I put a lot of effort into the editing of this video, so I hope it looked as good as possible. I hope these tips for dungeons helped you guys out a lot. I see people making these common mistakes all the time, and so I hope this video helps out a lot of the early game players trying to get into dungeons. If you guys enjoyed this video, make sure to leave a like and subscribe. It really helps me out, and also make sure to go check out my Discord server down in the description below. We are gonna be doing a 100 million coin giveaway in it at 4K subs. Anyway, that's gonna be it for this video, guys, and I'll See you guys later. Peace.